I can't believe it. I can't believe. No, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Yes, you're on his left foot. Shoot, stop it. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. No. No. It's forfeit to Chelsea, guys. Oh no. It's four three to Chelsea. Palmer's deflected shot. The corner. The taking it quick on the edge of the box. He takes a shot and it deflects in, and it's 4-3 to Chelsea. Two minutes ago! Two minutes ago, it was 3-2 up! Two, uh... two minutes ago, man. we were 3-2 up, man. That's them, man. The team can fast them, man. That's, that's them, man. Oh! Oh, my God! You need to the crap of us! Football's not for me. Paul Palmer. Welcome back to the Fan Channel Review Show. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on bell notifications if you haven't done so already. This is the this is maybe the most painful show I've ever had to do. But do you know what? The best way to get through pain sometimes is the Patch Adam effects. Have a little bit of a laugh. Let's start here with a bit of Mark Goldbridge. This could be a goal. In hell, it is. It's Connor Gallagher it's giving a penalty. That's not a penalty. That's it, it was a penalty, Mark. It was a penalty. Not a penalty. That's a fucking dive. They won't miss. 2 0. Gun! Come on! I told you! I bloody told you! We're in this game and we're not giving in! We're not giving in yet! <laughs> that actually scared me a bit. Ganacho with the goal. That's what you pay £100 million for. Casido with the assist. Who's Casido? <laughs> Look at this assist by Casido. Brilliant pass. Is that not a watch, Casido? Oh, you know what? He's worth every penny, Casido. He was awful last night. As much as Chelsea won the game, he was bad. That's one of the assists of the season. Back post. Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Where are you now? Where are you now? Where are you now? Where are you now? All right, Delia Smith. Where are you now? Two, two. I bloody told you, negative bastards. <laughs> Shut up. Spin on that. And if you don't like it, f off and support Man City. <laughs> oh, Mark, I think you upset the football god there, mate. Go on in. Get in. Ganacho. What a ball by Anthony. The redemption arc. That pass is absolute the redemption arc. <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Can we go live to Gary Barlow? Could it be magic now? Oh, what a... <laughs> Some people aren't going to understand that, but it's beautiful. The pass. Absolute wanker. You can't look at it for two minutes and then go, oh, yeah, it's... This is one of the best two minutes I've ever seen in my life. The lows, the highs, everything. It's a penalty. They know it's fucking soft. Went the same way as well anana he goes that way every fucking time they're absolute idiots what are they doing goal Fuck off. i don't want to do this anymore i don't want to fucking do this anymore i don't want to do this anymore <laughs> like a kid he got up and he got to go back. He got up and pushed his chair away. <laughs> Goal. Fuck off. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to. That's what my daughter says when I'm making her eat vegetables. <laughs> I can do this anymore. What a 
fucking joke! <laughs> what are they doing? <sighs> Mate, sack yourself, man. Sack yourself. That is the biggest fucking injustice I have ever seen. Oh. I'll tell you what, Chelsea. I'm glad you're keeping Pochettino because he's fucking wank. <laughs> <laughs> this was like watching two ugly gallia fighting in a rave blood. <laughs> we flying everywhere, fake nails flying off, one girl's eyelashes were hanging off. That's what it looked like, bro. This is this the worst game of football yeah that I've seen yeah from a quality standpoint in my life, bro. This was awful. It, it rants is so right. As much as people keep saying game of the season. It, Entertainment wise, maybe, but the lack of quality all over the pitch from start to finish from both teams. A, a Chelsea fans should celebrate winning, there's no doubt, but no one can be happy with their teams, if that makes sense. This was awful. This takes us to 12 losses in the Premier League, you know, bro. This looked like two fat ogres fighting in a dance, brother. That's what it looked like. Makeup everywhere, blood. One of them had one tit hanging out, you know, like that. One earring missing and that. This was a state. Galia oh. fighting in a rave. Oh. 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 <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, listen, I can relate, bruv. <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. Big L's out there tonight. Big L's out there tonight. Ah! So we got for me. Oh snap! Oh, oh, Look at Lee's face. Oh yeah. my god! It's only gone and done it. Gonna get it again. Gallagher. I know that's one of his favorite players. So to have him dunk on him, this is, is poetic. This is poetic. See, you're, you're, no, 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 but you see, this is what you do. You're so busy beefing me, beefing me. It's like to deflect mm. off the, the real issues. Beef me. Hey. Seriously. You, you hey. have your joy now, right? Watch the TV. Beef me. All good. <laughs> that come from a little, little, little needle there. A little needle there. Little hey, so, social media wins. Little social media wins. Huh? This is you. Shut the hell up. You saw that video that you were talking about. Gusto left wide open. Who's playing left back? <laughs> it's true. It, it has got like that social media these days where we spend probably about 50% of our time beefing each other over opinions rather than talking about football. It, maybe it's just me. It is true, right? It is true. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. You're the biggest bottle of fucking jobs ever, bro. The, the, whole, the whole group. They showed you in the Champions League. They showed you time and time again this season. They showed you today. Ass, that, that, that's only Let it out, Leo. I don't think you're expressing yourself enough, mate. It's about all of them, bro. I'm blaming Ten Hag here, bro. You don't, it's not every day argue one versus the other. This team and this I don't, team, bro, it's I a group of bullies, bro. It's a group of fucking you think I'm happy with that. He's right. Listen, I keep seeing people say we need better quality, and we do. But we need to build a culture and stronger mentality. This is maybe the third or fourth time this season that we've gone into the closing stages of a game winning, and we've ended up losing. This isn't the first time. It is crazy how Man United have gone from being the team that does this to people on a regular basis to capitulating late on regularly. It is absolutely horrendous. We are bowl jobs. And I know we need better quality footballers, and that will probably help us not collapse in that way. But we are so badly drilled. We are so fragile when things go wrong. I get Leah's 110%. The lack of quality in this team is amazing. But one of the biggest problems that Manchester United fans have is the fans out there that are still defending it. Before I speak about that, though, I want to shout out our title sponsors today, Brickhouse Nutrition. You have to check out their pure organic superfood range. It is so not just good for you. It's not just good for your digestion, your heart, your liver, your kidneys. It's also good for everybody in your family because it isn't a supplement that is full of uh, sort of factory produced chemicals, drugs that are not good for your body, artificial additives and preservatives and sugar. It is pure 100% organic superfoods. You can check out all the ingredients on their website and you can even check out how good each ingredient is for you and what it does for your body. I drink it daily. It's how I handle the stress of the job that I do, the pressures of what I do, that along with the nutritious balanced diet 
keeps me sleeping well, keeps me healthy, keeps me going. Go and check out Brickhouse Nutri- Nutrition. Use promo code SQUAD to get a 15% discount. Go and check it out. But the, one of the biggest problems at Man United is our fan base. And I want to put out some comments here that are just on, on my YouTube channel alone, these come up. And look, you've got Oral Campbell, a member of our channel, respect him a lot. But it says this Ten Hag agenda, why not ask the players, you know, if they, if, if they can be bothered to put more of a shift in. And I want to answer that by saying this. I get this footage of Casemiro. There's always footage of Rashford not pressing and doing the right thing, in your opinion. Is there either an instruction from the manager for them to do that? Or the manager is completely oblivious and blind to what they're doing. Even though, let's just say, that either of those scenarios, it's on the manager for me. The amount of times they do it, I can only look at the manager as being the problem in this scenario. But yet, Ten Hag gets defended. You hear the top one here, that's Terry. It says, Ten Hag is doing many great things. But I agree, he's made mistakes. What great things has Ten Hag done? Outside of the of his essentially his first six months, first two games he lost badly, and then the next six months were very good. Outside of that six months, which by the way ended 13 months ago, what great things is Ten Hag doing? I then get told Terry, you defend Deserby, who is bang average, but you slag off a manager who took over the worst Man United team in Premier League history. The context is so different. The worst Man United team in Premier League history. Um Still had a lot of quality players in it. The Zerbi has lost his best players because that's the model at Brighton, where our manager's been given the best part of half a billion pounds to improve the squad, two years to coach it, and we're going backwards. The scenarios are massively different. If the Zerbi was at a team that had the turnover, the income, the spending power, the wage bill that Man United do, and he went from last season to this season, I would be heavily condemning him. You're comparing apples with oranges. And finally, at the bottom, is Terry you know you have an agenda against Ten Hag, as all true City uh, and Arsenal fans have. No, my agenda isn't against Ten Hag because I'm an Arsenal fan or because I'm a City fan. It's because we are not improving. We have not got better. We are collapsing. And the manager is a hugely important part of that. My agenda is I want Man United to become better. And I do not believe. And people like yourself, I think your name's David. Is it David? I'll go back and check. I want to make sure I'm right. Yes, David. You don't give me anything tangible as to how he's going to improve this. You don't cite any precedents. You don't cite any examples of where this type of thing has been turned around. So my agenda is Man United getting better, not protecting a manager who is failing. He must be criticized. That doesn't mean the player shouldn't be. It doesn't mean the owners can't be. But he must be criticized. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for tuning in as ever. Take care. Goodbye. God bless. And I'll see you all again soon. Peace.